Hi there, today we get to talk about the Renogy Rover Li 60 amp MPPT controller. Let's see how we get on. So let's see what we've got in the box. So we have our instruction manual. It's wrapped in polystyrene either side and in plastic here as well. Also inside is a battery temperature sensor. Let's just open it up, see what else is in here. Polystyrene covers. Big shiny plastic cover. With an LED screen and some buttons. There is a sticker and a support group and an e-warranty card for this. I think it's a two-year warranty with this. And some brackets and screws to attach it to the bulkhead. So here we have this big uh, lump of plastic. Uh, it's got a massive heat vein on the bottom, but the top half is a uh, matte plastic with an LED screen and some LED warning lights for solar, battery, load, and a problem, as well as the control buttons here. It is 11 inches long, four inches high and eight inches wide and weighs about eight pounds or four kilos. So not a small insignificant lump here. In terms of its power, uh, it's quite smart. It can sense the battery bank voltage and will cover from 12 volts through to 48, 12, 24, 36 and 48. Um, there is an asterisk on the 48 because I think it doesn't do lithiums at 48, but it does do AGMs and gels. Uh, and user set up to 48 volts too. So uh, that's quite a wide range of voltage. Its input, maximum input voltage is 140 volts. In terms of the power of the solar array, it can take 800 watts at 12 volts, right up through to 3200 watts on the 48 volt version. So that gives you quite a range of battery banks and solar array solar array sizes to work with and that makes this a very attractive and interesting uh, unit to use it's quite it runs at 98 percent efficiency so you're not losing too much energy from the solar array through to your battery there is a load function on it which is 20 amps um, i'm not a fan of load functions off running off an mppt controller uh, maybe you are and if you are please drop me a line down below to let me know what it is you use it for. Um, I can only think of putting a light on or a lamp on or a fan on during the day when you've got power on, but I don't think that's actually what it's supposed to do. So it has lots of battery management and uh, safety features, including a reverse polarity protection, which in my mind is when you reconnect something the wrong way around and it stops it going bang. To be fair, you should be really careful about connecting things the wrong way around because they always go bang. But anyway, apparently you're protected. So to connect it all up, we need to take the cover off here, which is a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I've already done the nuts up and you kind of lift and pull it out. And here are the terminals. They are terminals that will cope with a four AWG cable for the solar array and for the battery out. And this is the load terminals here. They're big flat cross-headed screws here. There's a whole load of other connectors here. You can connect your battery temperature sensor. There is a battery voltage monitor if you want to look at the accuracy of more accurate battery voltage monitor. Uh, there is a parallel communication protocol, which I'm not clear about. And then you have to connect your Bluetooth module separately, either BT1 or BT2. Uh, I think in this day and age to not have Bluetooth connected 
uh, integrally is a shame and using a module is okay but it's not great and now you've got the module so you can manage it manage this unit with the led screen here fortunately but if you go bluetooth you have to connect the unit and then you have to use the renergy app on your phone or smart tablet or use the renergy one display module too so that's not so great but it's okay and it's manageable too so that's it pretty much uh, in its simplicity. Uh, connect them up here, reconnect this terminal, and then it should be mounted vertically on a bulkhead, either this way or this way, and not flat. Um, and it should be kept out of the water, the rain, use your color, sensible things to keep things away from the, from the electrics. So that's it pretty much. The Rover, 60 amp MPPT charge controller with heat temperature, a two year warranty, some mounting brackets, an instruction manual, but missing a Bluetooth connector. This is Graham, we're Mogul Adventures, and thank you for watching.